<clears throat> All right, so I was asked if this laptop has a bottleneck from the 10,500H to the RTX 3060 being a powerful graphics card. So first off, this RTX 3060 is a little bit weaker than some of the other laptops, but I'm going to show you how to be able to tell if there's a bottleneck. I don't think even if it was a full powered watt uh, 3060 Ti, it would have a bottleneck and I will show you. So a bottleneck is when something is pinned to 100%. So if the CPU was pinned to 100% and the GPU was having a very hard time keeping up, that would be a CPU bottleneck. The bottleneck that we're currently having, and it's not because of the CPU, literally the GPU is just not strong enough to process the game any faster than what it's going. So we can see that we're at almost 100% all the time, and I hold about 60 FPS all the time. It's set to high settings, this game is very GPU demanding. And you can see that the CPU isn't working too hard, and I will show to you that there is zero bottleneck with the CPU. So, start with these guys, show you that it doesn't drop. And keep in mind I'm also recording with the GPU, so that's even a factor. The multiple enemies, we're not gonna have any drops, no dips. Getting up there a little, but nothing too bad. Okay, come on. <laughs> Alright, so we could see there that the CPU wasn't going up very high. Now, I'm going to show you something that I didn't tell you guys. I turned off turbo mode to the CPU, making it much weaker. So, we saw that we were getting like 70. Temperatures are much lower, but here, watch this. Now, if I turn back up the... Uh, the max amount of voltage that this thing can take will turn back on turbo mode and now you can see the CPU completely drop down to 42% rather than sitting at 80 every once in a while. So even without the turbo mode there is absolutely no bottleneck going on whatsoever with the CPU. There are going to be times that it does get high but it's not going to be holding itself at those limits whatsoever. So I would say no, there is zero bottleneck with this PC. Uh, also to keep in mind the CPU is a recycled, uh, I believe it's a recycled 9th generation i7. A little bit faster clock speed so it is a little bit better but the problem is it does have high temps, I would highly recommend changing. Pardon me, the thermal base on the GPU and the CPU helps keep those temps down, but you're not going to have a bad time. It's a very good laptop for the price. <laughs> 